Coming up in the Tales of Hoffman, the lovelorn poet pursues the passionate but fragile Antonia, sung by Anna Netrebko. <laughs> Hoffman then falls for the courtesan, Julieta, sung by Ekaterina Gubanova. Maestro James the Vine conducts Offenbach's unforgettable score, including the famous Barcarolle. Stay with us as Bartlett Shear's dazzling production of Le Conte Hoffman continues. This PBS program will return in a moment. We are born explorers. It's human nature. We explore places, people, and ideas. We try. We succeed. And we learn. We are born explorers. What journeys wait for you? performances at the Metropolitan Opera is brought to you by Toll Brothers. With its commitment to elegant craftsmanship and luxury lifestyles, Toll Brothers has been building homes and communities throughout the nation for more than 40 years. This program is also made possible by the Irene Diamond Fund, the Annenberg Foundation, the National Endowment for the Arts, because a great nation deserves great art. Vivian Milstein. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. And by contributions to a PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. one stage that is the Met and Carnegie Hall. It is the Kennedy Center. 
and a club Austin. It is closer than any seat in the house, no matter where you call home. PBS, the great American stage that fits in every living room. Supporting your PBS station brings the arts home. Over 20 years ago, Eyes on the Prize made its mark on public television and on America. This groundbreaking series remains the definitive documentary exploration of the civil rights movement, the story of how ordinary people took extraordinary risks to create earth-shaking social change. Please join me in watching Eyes on the Prize when it returns to public television this April. Next week on member-supported Blue Ridge S. I think every teacher has to feel very deeply within his or her heart that these children are potential heroes, citizens of the future. We can imagine the future. We can construct it. We can create it. I'm a gardener. I cultivate little flowers every day. Each one of them is individual. Each one of them has something so much to give to the whole bouquet. Something is as sweet and as beautiful as a flower. These are what these children are. They just grow, they mature, they blossom. That's what I love about public television. It seems to build on the innocence and idealism of children. I feel that by remembering public television in an estate plan, we are contributing to the very values that we've nurtured right here now. We're really leaving this rich legacy to the children of the future. It's so true that one person, just one, can make such a difference. You're watching member-supported Blue Ridge PBS. Welcome to the broadcast.